The renowned Buddha once conveyed, the mind is paramount. You shape your reality based on your thoughts. These enduring words hold deep insight, and today, we initiate a quest influenced by Buddha's guidance. As we examine 11 aspects that are advisable to discreetly remove from one's life, we will invoke the profound wisdom of Buddha to illuminate our route toward inner tranquility and spiritual enlightenment. Thus, let us commence this journey. Lesson 1. It is a common inclination to explain ourselves to those who have caused us pain, driven by a need to justify our actions or feelings in the face of hurtful experiences. However, this tendency can lead to unnecessary suffering. Buddha wisely articulated, You will not be punished for your anger. You will be punished by your anger. Underscoring that the anger and pain associated with explaining ourselves to those who have hurt us can be more detrimental to us than to anyone else. By relinquishing the compulsion to explain ourselves to those who cause or use pain, we can free ourselves from the emotional weed of seeking validation or understanding from them. This does not imply suppressing emotions or dismissing the importance of healthy communication in relationships. Instead, it entails recognizing that certain individuals may not be receptive to our explanations or may resist altering their perspective. Rather than expending energy on attempting to justify ourselves to those who have caused pain, we can redirect our focus toward personal healing and growth. This involves seeking inner peace and understanding within ourselves, independent of external validation. This lesson encourages us to prioritize our well-being and emotional health, acknowledging that our peace of mind should not be contingent on the approval or comprehension of others, particularly those who have been a source of pain. Lesson 2. The second lesson underscores the significance of refraining from oversharing the details of the conclusion of relationships. Buddha's sagacious counsel advises, Speak only endearing speech, speech that is welcomed. Speech, when it brings no evil to others, is a pleasant thing. This counsel emphasizes the importance of respecting the privacy of past relationships and abstaining from unnecessary gossip about them. When relationships conclude, it is often a period of heightened emotion and difficulty for all involved parties. Buddha's wisdom prompts us to exercise discretion and compassion in our communication during these challenging moments. Sharing intimate or sensitive details about the end of a relationship can intensify emotional distress, not only for oneself, but also for the other person involved. Instead, it is beneficial to contemplate the potential impact of one's words on both parties. Is what is about to be said necessary and constructive, or does it merely contribute to spreading negativity and harm? By honoring the boundaries and privacy of past relationships, individuals not only uphold their own dignity, but also foster a more harmonious and compassionate atmosphere in personal and social spheres. It's essential to recognize that, at times, silence can be the most eloquent and respectful response during the conclusion of relationships. Lesson 3. Buddha, the Enlightened One, shared profound wisdom with the words, the trouble is you think you have time. This timeless lesson prompts us to contemplate the fleeting nature of our existence and the value of the moments we are granted in this life. It serves as a poignant reminder that we often squander our most precious resource, time, by pursuing goals that, in the grander context, lack significance. Consider your life as a finite collection of moments each one akin to a jewel in the tapestry of your existence. Now, reflect on how frequently we expend these invaluable gems in the pursuit of goals that hold little true meaning. Such unnecessary goals may manifest in various ways, from materialistic pursuits fueled by societal pressures to trivial objectives that deviate from our core values and purpose. To heed Buddha's guidance is to embark on a transformative journey of self-reflection and prioritization. It calls on us to sift through our aspirations, discerning those that genuinely resonate with our inner selves, align with our values, and contribute meaningfully to our personal growth and the well-being of others. 
By relinquishing goals that are superfluous or incongruent with our authentic path, we liberate ourselves from the chains of distraction and discontent. This teaching encourages us to streamline our ambitions, focusing our efforts on goals that nourish our souls and enhance our lives. It invites us to cherish each moment as an irreplaceable gift, unlocking the potential to craft a life that transcends mere pursuits and becomes a profound and purposeful journey. Let us, therefore, heed this ancient wisdom and, with mindful intention, redirect our energies towards goals that genuinely matter, enabling us to make the most of our time and lead a life infused with significance and fulfillment. Lesson 4. Expressing anger or frustration by raising your voice in the presence of others. Picture a scenario where you are engulfed in anger or frustration, feeling the urge to release your emotions by raising your voice, perhaps to assert your point or alleviate built-up tension. Buddha, with his timeless wisdom, provided a potent analogy, comparing holding on to anger to clutching a hot coal with the intention of throwing it at someone else. The crucial insight here is that, in doing so, you end up burning yourself. This analogy vividly illustrates that anger not only harms the intended recipient, but inflicts even greater damage upon the one harboring it. Raising your voice in front of others during moments of frustration or anger often sets off a cycle of negativity. Firstly, it may escalate the situation, making it more challenging to reach a constructive resolution. Secondly, it damages relationships, as yelling can be hurtful and create emotional distance. Lastly, and most importantly, it takes a toll on your own mental and emotional well-being. Clinging to anger can lead to stress, anxiety, and a lingering sense of inner turmoil. So what is the alternative? Buddha's guidance encourages us to cultivate patience and calmness. Instead of impulsively reacting to our emotions, we can step back and allow ourselves to cool down. This doesn't mean suppressing feelings. Rather, it involves acknowledging emotions while choosing not to let them dictate our actions. Practicing Patti and Sinebla's clarity and approaches situations with a composed and rational mind. This not only increases the likelihood of finding a mutually beneficial solution, but also preserves harmony in relationships. Buddha's lesson on raising your voice during moments of anger reminds us that true strength lies in mastering our emotions, not letting them master us. By practicing patience and calmness, we not only avoid unnecessary suffering but also pave the way for more harmonious and fulfilling interactions with others. The next time anger surfaces, recall Buddha's wisdom and choose the path of patience and calmness to navigate life's challenges. Lesson 6. In this lesson, we explore the profound wisdom of Buddha, who warned us about the detrimental consequences of constantly comparing ourselves to others. He astutely observed that such comparisons breed jealousy and insecurity, emphasizing how this habit can sow the seeds of negative emotions within us. When we consistently measure ourselves against others, we unwittingly subject ourselves to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. Our focus shifts from recognizing our unique qualities, talents, and strengths to fixating on what we perceive as the achievements and successes of those around us. This perpetual cycle of comparison can erode our self-esteem, leaving us feeling less valuable and capable than we truly are. To follow Buddha's timeless advice, it is crucial to embrace our individual uniqueness and refrain from measuring our worth or progress against that of others. Each person's life journey is distinct, shaped by their personal experiences, circumstances, and choices. By acknowledging and celebrating our unique qualities, strengths, and accomplishments, we can nurture a sense of self-acceptance and contentment. Additionally, Avoiding constant comparisons enables us to cultivate a healthier mindset and emotional well-being. Rather than fixating on others' achievements or possessions, we can channel our energy towards self-improvement, personal growth, and the pursuit of goals that genuinely align with our values and aspirations. 
The lesson from Buddha encourages us to value our own path and recognize its unique nature. Letting go of the damaging habit of constant comparison opens the door to a deeper sense of self-worth, inner peace, and the ability to lead a more authentic and fulfilling life. Lesson 7. Buddha's wisdom resonates in his reminder of the profound influence our thoughts have on our lives. The mind is everything. What you think, you become. In our contemporary world, this lesson holds particular significance in the context of our engagement with social media. In today's digital age, it's easy to succumb to mindless scrolling and superficial interactions on social platforms. Many of us dedicate extensive hours to our screens, consuming content that may not necessarily enrich our lives or foster genuine connections. To truly embody this teaching, it's essential to approach social media with mindfulness and intentionality. Instead of aimlessly navigating your feed, consider focusing on positive and meaningful connections. This involves being aware of the content you consume and share, as well as the interactions you participate in. Reflect on whether the time spent on social media contributes positively to your life, or if it serves as a mere source of distraction and comparison. Make a conscious effort to connect with others authentically, engage in meaningful conversations, and share content that uplifts and inspires. By using social media mindfully, you align your online presence with your values and aspirations, ensuring that your thoughts and actions in the digital realm contribute to personal growth and overall well-being. Keep in mind that the mind holds immense power, and how you wield it in the realm of social media can significantly shape the direction of your life. Lesson 8. This lesson addresses the common habit of seeking external validation, where many of us rely on others' approval and recognition to feel worthy or confident. However, in the teachings of Buddha, a profound reminder emerges. You yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. This emphasizes that our worthiness and self-esteem should emanate from within, rather than being contingent on others' opinions or judgments. Envision a life where you prioritize self-love and acceptance instead of constantly seeking validation from others. It involves recognizing your inherent value just as you are, irrespective of external validation. This shift in perspective enables the construction of a solid foundation of self-confidence and happiness that is independent of others' views. It's important to note that this doesn't imply disregarding appreciation or recognition from others, but rather not solely relying on it for self-esteem. By concentrating on self-love and inner validation, a deeper and more enduring sense of contentment and self-assurance can be found. Release the need for constant external validation and nurture the relationship with yourself. It is, after all, the most important one you'll ever have. Lesson 9. Buddha, the wise sage, shared a profound teaching with the words, There is no perfection in this world, only striving for it. This lesson prompts us to explore the complex relationship between our relentless pursuit of perfection and the inherent imperfections that are an integral part of the human experience. In a world that often idealizes unattainable standards, it becomes crucial to take heed of this wisdom. Perfectionism can be a double-edged sword. While it may propel us to reach high standards, it can also lead to unyielding self-criticism and anxiety. Buddha's teaching encourages us to release the elusive notion of perfection and instead embrace our imperfections as a fundamental aspect of our humanity. In doing so, we liberate ourselves from the chains of self-doubt and unrealistic expectations learning to appreciate the beauty in our flaws and the growth that arises from our mistakes. This shift in perspective allows us to concentrate on progress, not perfection. It empowers us to set meaningful goals, work diligently towards them, and relish the journey of self-improvement without the oppressive weight of unattainable perfection hanging over us. Lesson 9 teaches us that the path to personal growth and fulfillment 
lies not in the relentless pursuit of an unattainable ideal, but in the acknowledgement and acceptance of our imperfections. It's an invitation to lead a life guided by the principle of continuous improvement, where each step forward, no matter how small, is a cause for celebration. By embracing our imperfections, we discover the true essence of our humanity and cultivate a profound sense of contentment and self-compassion along the way. Lesson 10. Within the realm of Buddhist wisdom, we encounter a profound teaching in Lesson 10, the pitfalls of holding on to unrealistic expectations. The essence of this lesson can be encapsulated in the words of Buddha himself. The root of suffering is attachment. To truly comprehend this, let's delve deeper. Unrealistic expectations often spring from a form of attachment, a fixation on how things should be rather than embracing how they are. This attachment can lead us down a path of discontentment and unhappiness as we persistently chase after ideals that may be unattainable or simply not in alignment with the ever-changing nature of reality. Picture setting impossibly high standards for yourself, your relationships, or your achievements. You become emotionally attached to these ideals, believing that they are the sole path to contentment. However, when reality inevitably falls short of these expectations, suffering ensues. Frustration, disappointment, or a sense of defeat may overwhelm you. Buddha's wisdom advises us to release this attachment to unrealistic expectations and in doing so, discover contentment in the present moment. This doesn't entail abandoning all goals and aspirations, rather it invites us to approach life with a sense of flexibility and acceptance. By letting go of rigid expectations, we open ourselves to the beauty of the present moment. We learn to appreciate what we have, acknowledge our progress, and find contentment in the journey itself, rather than fixating solely on the destination. In this way, we liberate ourselves from the constant cycle of craving and dissatisfaction. Integrating this teaching into our lives can lead to a profound transformation in how we experience the world. It encourages us to cultivate mindfulness, a state of being fully present and aware, and to appreciate the richness of life as it unfolds. It invites us to embrace the imperfections and uncertainties that make our journey unique and meaningful. As we navigate the complexities of existence, let us heed the wisdom of Buddha and release the shackles of unrealistic expectations. In doing so, we open ourselves to a more authentic and fulfilling experience of life, one where contentment is found not in an imagined future, but in the beauty of the present moment. Lesson 11. Buddha's timeless advice, do not speak unless it improves on silence, resonates with profound wisdom that encourages us to reflect on the impact of our words on relationships and our surroundings. Gossip, often a source of idle chatter and negativity, is an activity that should be consciously avoided. Instead, let us strive to cultivate mindful and compassionate communication. Although gossip may seem harmless at times, it can have far-reaching consequences. It involves discussing or spreading rumors about others, often without their knowledge or consent. This behavior can damage trust, breed misunderstandings, and sow seeds of discord among individuals. Engaging in gossip inadvertently contributes to a toxic environment where negativity and mistrust thrive. To truly follow Buddha's advice, we should pause and consider whether our words enhance or disrupt the silence. Instead of indulging in gossip, we can channel our energy into conversations that uplift and inspire. Mindful communication entails actively listening, empathizing with others, and speaking with kindness and authenticity. By refraining from gossip and adopting a more mindful approach to communication, we can nurture healthier relationships, foster trust, and create a harmonious atmosphere where silence becomes a canvas for positive and meaningful interactions. As we conclude our exploration of these 11 lessons inspired by the teachings of Buddhism, it's important to remember 
that the pursuit of inner peace and happiness is a deeply personal and introspective journey. By consciously eliminating detrimental habits from your daily life, you can pave the way for a more enriching and harmonious existence. If you found the insights shared in this message valuable and thought-provoking, we appreciate your support by giving it a thumbs up. We also invite you to subscribe to our channel for more content aimed at enhancing your well-being. Your input is valued, so feel free to share your reflections and experiences in the comments section below. To stay updated on future content, remember to activate the notification bell.